cardiologists, internists, and cardiovascular surgeons are routinely trained in the insertion and management of the intraaortic balloon catheter. Datascope intraaortic balloon catheters are designed to provide the maximum benefits of balloon pumping. The inner lumen allows guided insertion over a guide wire and arterial pressure monitoring. The outer lumen is used for helium transport into and out of the balloon. To prepare for sheathless insertion of the intraaortic balloon catheter, open the sterile insertion kit first. It contains all remaining required equipment for balloon insertion. Prep and drape the patient in the standard fashion for cannulation of the femoral artery. Insert the 18 gauge angiographic needle into the femoral artery. Use a shallow angle of entry to minimize the potential to kink the catheter. Be sure to use the wire supplied as it has been specifically designed for optimal catheter tracking. During insertion, hold the balloon catheter close to the skin line to avoid kinking the catheter or inner lumen. Avoid using excessive force while inserting the balloon. Continue to advance the balloon until it is positioned in the descending thoracic aorta, with the tip just distal to the left subclavian artery. Be sure to secure the dilator to the hemostasis valve. This will prevent the sheath from slipping ahead of the dilator, reducing the potential for damage to the sheath and the artery. While the prefolded balloon membrane is easily inserted through the sheath, its smooth longitudinal folds can sometimes act as a conduit for arterial blood under pressure. Thus, at this stage of sheath insertion, bleeding from the folds at the membrane catheter junction may be observed. Connect the male lure fitting of the balloon to the catheter extender. Attach the male lure of the extender to the pump console and initiate pumping. An intraaortic balloon can, under unusual clinical conditions, be inserted into a false lumen of the aorta. If blood is seen within the balloon catheter tubing, stop pumping and remove the balloon. At the completion of the recording, an annotated trailer is appended to the print. The annotation describes patient and system status. The format of the annotation depends upon the IAB assist frequency selection. When 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 is selected as the IAB frequency, the recorder will print both assisted and unassisted systolic and diastolic pressure information. To create a static printout, press the print strip key here.